We are at the one kilometer mark. We got a bit of a hike today. It's a eight kilometer round trip. So far, this is the first sample we found on the side of a road. And you can see some nice prioritization there. So this looks like a volcanic rock. Maybe a bit of calco in there too, but mostly uh, iron pyrite. We're at the three and a half kilometer mark now. We're uh, at the creek where this flows down into the main one. And this is what we think is transporting all the, the gossness material we're looking for from a deposit way up above, which is on the other side of this mountain up here. What we wanted to do is do a geological traverse up this creek, but we're gonna see how uh, feasible that is. You can see how much overburdening trees and stuff has washed down the creek. Also gonna be keeping an eye out for uh, some bears here. We got some uh, small prints and some big ones so we'll see what lies ahead so these are some of the samples that you can find closer to the uh, deposit up there about a kilometer away so if you look under a loop you can see very fine metallics in there and uh, I'm thinking that it could be a combination of sulfides and silver. But uh, these samples are wet, it's hard to tell. Another thing I'll mention, that very first sample on the road that we found uh, with pyrite and calcopyrite, you're looking at the same kind of rocks here that uh, was on the road. You can see some oxidization on that one. Possibly a contact between uh, the two rock types where there's mineralization forming. We're going to see if we can find it today. It is a uh, kilometer, kilometer half journey up there, so don't know how far we'll make it, but we'll certainly try to get as far as we can. Now there is a road that runs on the top of this creek and goes way, way up to the top of the mountain where we think the potential deposit is, where all your gossness area is. Flows down, comes down through here. We didn't want to walk up and walk down because it is wet out and you're looking at about a thousand feet um, and it's very steep so pretty dangerous. We're going to go up straight even though it's going to be really difficult you can see all the logs we're going to try and find some float samples that we uh, think are from the deposit we're also going to do a bit of panning get some samples of the concentrates for a later analysis so these are the rocks that are typical for the area and you can see these little patches right here of gray which contain iron sulfides You can see there's just a whole bunch more here. So let's get to her and head that away. Loading up a pan here. We don't have any good pans because I'm moving and all my pans are packed away. So this bent one is the only one we could find. It'll do. Water is very cold.
Lots of black sands in here. Some gold in there. Got about uh, eight, nine specks amongst the black sands. So we took a different way back down to the uh, main road just off the creek. He thought it would be shorter. Turns out it's not. Doesn't feel too pleasant with uh, short sleeves getting hit by one of those. Pretty rush though. So we're back at the bridge that uh, officially sucked. Didn't find too much because we couldn't get too far. You see that clearing through there, we got about uh, 100 meters past that. It's just way too dense and dangerous. So we're gonna have to one day make the journey up there and walk down the thousand foot ravine. So, time for the walk back. Just stuff from that bridge. Thought I'd show this right here. You have this out of place looking intrusive rock right here. You can clearly tell the two different kinds of rocks. Very first sample we found, some of the ones on the creek that are mineralized match this rock type. We did hammer away at it a bit, and there is little specks of disseminated iron pyrite, but nothing crazy worth sampling, I don't think. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. We are back at the vehicle now. We'll see you guys next time.